Well, guys, it's finally going to happen. Next year, Nintendo is officially <sighs> setting down the Nintendo eShop for the Wii U and the 3DS. Thankfully, for those of you who probably do have the games on the 3DS and the Wii, Sop, Wii U shop, it'll still be available. You can still play them. But my problem is there are so many great games on the 3DS and the Wii U eShop. Not just for you to buy physically. Um, I've talked about Pikmin 3, I've talked about Savage Returns, and I've talked about, um, the other one, I don't remember. I talked about the Kirby games on the 3DS. They're all going to be gone. Unless you buy it physical next year, all the games that you did not purchase will be gone. And I'll tell you right now, there are a lot of great games. So, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a detail about my experience with the Wii U and the 3DS. So, a couple of years ago, during the big hype of the Wii U, I was play. I, I had said that I wasn't going to buy it. I was hesitant because it was just another Wii, I thought. And, of course, about maybe a couple of months later, I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm buying it. And I was surprised at how great the game, the system was. It wasn't perfect, and the game that came with it was New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, this was during the time when the Nintendo game consoles, and, and they still come with copies, but not very often anymore. Um, so, I want to get another game, which was Wind Waker. Wind Waker HD was the game that I... Well, actually, I should say Wind Waker, the original, was the game I never, ever be, beat on the GameCube. And again, if you do not find this game on... If you do not find this game at any shop, I'm telling you... You might be out of luck next year with the Wii U eShop and 3DS eShop sets down. I also played um, Lego City Undercover. And this was after I beat, you know, played Lego City Undercover The Taste Begins. This is a great, another great 3DS game. But again, if you want to play that game, buy it physically. Or buy it off the ESOP now. Because it ain't going to be there next year. I know it's on the Switch. I know it's on the PS4. But if you want the original Mario themed Lego City Undercover, get it on the Wii U. Trust me, you will not be dissatisfied. Uh, another one I played, I think, was, I don't remember what it was, but it was some other game, and, and again, it was great. Um, during the lifespan of the 3DS, I actually did not, I had two, actually three versions of 3DS. I had the original 2DS. Still have that, by the way. I had the 3D new 3DS XL. I got rid of it. It was faulty. The SD card kept popping out. And then I have the new 
to the SXL. Still have that thing, by the way. Um, the games that I remember the most playing were Lego City Undercover's Chase Begins, Ocarina of Time 3D, and Link Between Worlds. There are a bunch of other games I played too. Um, one of them being, obviously, Majora's Mask 3D. And that game, again, unless they do something with the Switch, which I highly doubt, because it doesn't have the two screens on it, unless they somehow, oh, we're going to make it to where you have to have it in handheld mode, or do what they did with, with Mario 3D World and just put the um, put the yeah. so to, to put it bluntly it was it's a sad time for Nintendo fans that had the Wii U that had the 3DS that had Nintendo, do us a favor, okay? Bring Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and if you can, DS games, if you can. Again, there are games that are on the DS that would do okay, like Metroid Prime Hunters, for example. You don't have to use the, but it's a little clunky to do it, but you don't have to use the stylus. Again, it's clunky, but it can be done. And like I said, the, look at Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. They gave us a way to play it without the without gamepad. And I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. They did that with Lego City Undercover when they came out with it for the PS4, the Switch, and the, and I assume the same with the Xbox because I don't have an Xbox One. But if it's on Xbox, I assume it's pretty much the same. But don't worry, I have not repeat, not deleted anything that I liked for my 3DS or my Wii U. The only thing I had deleted was Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I am not re-downloading that. When the Wii U eShop is gone, it's gone as well. Um, anyway, I, I just want to get this out here because next year, I'm going to say it again. I'm not happy. I am not happy that Nintendo hasn't put the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color on the Switch. It has a capability, Nintendo. The Wii U had a capability of doing Game Boy Advance. The 3DS had a Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Why not the Switch? But what do you guys think? You guys think we should get Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color games on the Switch? Or better yet, remakes of the Game Boy games? I'm not kidding. I wouldn't mind seeing a remake of... Oracle Ages, Oracle Seasons. I wouldn't even mind Miss Cap getting one. I wouldn't mind seeing Mario Land, my all every Mario Land game getting some kind of collection like the 3D All Stars got. Mega Man's got some. I mean, it, it you don't have the Game Boy versions, but for crying out loud, they got. X, they got Mega Man, they've got ZE, 
ZX. Why can't we get some form of a Game Boy app or some way to play on the Switch? Nintendo, get your act together and put it on there. Don't make us spend $50 for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's I'm okay, but more tracks still is not enough. And Happy Home Desi Happy Home Paradise, which I bought, I didn't get it with the quote expansion pack. I bought it because I want to get it. And in sixty four and Sega Genesis. Nintendo, we want more for our buck. You can't expect us to pay six fifty dollars for a freaking for for freaking two consoles and two DLCs. You, you just can't. I'm sorry. I'm going to point this out. PS4, PS5. You buy theirs, they give you a bunch of free content. How do you think I got Love is Strange? The first game. I got it for free because I got it on the PlayStation Now. Nintendo... Get your heads out of your butts and put the Game Boy games, the Game Boy Advance games, the Game Boy Color games. I don't care about GameCube. I've got an actual GameCube. You cannot, you can exclude that. But I want to see Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. I didn't even go with the Sega. Game Gear to be on there. But anyway, my rant's over. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you on the next video. It's hopefully won't have much of a rant. See you guys next time.